So these are La Jolla HD Mark II neutral density filters. Now they come in a three stop, six stop, and a 10 stop. These are sold individually, or you can buy them as a kit. And with the kit, you get this nice protective pouch. So these HD Mark II filters have multi-coatings, which make them oil resistant and water repellent for easy cleaning. But they also have Hoya's exclusive ACCU-ND technology to help attack from color shift. The glass is set in a low profile anodized aluminum frame to prevent light leaks and also help prevent vignetting. Here on the back, you have normal threads to go onto the front of your lens, but also you have front threads so you can stack filters as well as use other creative filters. So now the main purpose to use a neutral density filter is to have more creative control over your settings, whether you're shooting video or photo. So right now shooting this video, my settings are 4K30 and I'm shooting them log. So that means the lowest my ISO can go to is 800. Now ideally I wanna follow the 180 degree shutter rule, which means my shutter speed needs to be double my frame rate. So if I'm shooting 4K30, that means my shutter speed needs to be one over 60th. And that's just so I get that natural motion blur that the human eye naturally sees. Because I don't have an ND filter on there, there are only two things I can do bump up my shutter speed or raise my f-stop. Right now my f-stop is at f2.8, so I've had to increase my shutter speed. But as you can see here, you don't get that natural motion blur. So I'm around 1 800th of a second, f2.8 with the ISO 800. Now here I'm at 1 60th of a second, which is the ideal shutter speed, but I had to bump up my f-stop to about f10, f11. And with that, I don't get that nice separation that I usually get with an f2.8 between me and the background. And here it's at 1 60th of a second, ISO 800, f2.8 with no ND filter. And you can see just how blown out it is. So what I'm gonna do is screw on the ND filter. I'm thinking probably about a, so this light, probably about a six stop would be good. So just screw that onto the front, check the settings, a little underexposed. Swap that out, pop on a three stop. So now with the HD Mark II three stop on there, I'm able to shoot at 4K 30 and have 1 60th of a second, ISO 800 and F 2.8. So I get that nice separation between me and the background. Okay, now let's shoot some photos with the HD Mark II filters. Now one of the great things about using an ND filter, especially in landscape, around water, or with clouds in the sky, is that you get that nice dreamy look. All right, first, we're gonna do no filter. So at, shoot about F8, ISO 100. And right now, I have to be about 1 250th of a second. Okay, next, I put on the three stop and one fortieth of a second, fire that one off. We're gonna throw in the six stop. And now, the 10 stop. And here we're about a two second exposure. So now when it's a little bit brighter out like it is today, what you can do is stack the filters as well. So I have the 10 stop on there. And this is what I find myself doing quite a lot, especially in brighter conditions like this. But earlier morning, when you're shooting sunrise or sunset, you may only need to use maybe a three stop or six stop to get the shot you want. All right, so I'm just gonna stack a 10 stop and a three stop. And now I'm at about a 13 second exposure. All right, now that is the HD Mark II neutral density filters. Now just remember, if you have any questions, please reach out to the team. Always it a help. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.